What is big data? Big data is, quite simply, a term that represents the massive amounts, new types, and multifaceted sources of information that are streaming at us faster than ever. Never before have we seen information with the volume, velocity, and variety of today. Specific examples include YouTube videos, tweets, Facebook likes, call detail records, data from sensors, audio things like podcasts, click streams, log files, and so much more. Big data is also not a blip or a temporary fad. In fact, it's going to only intensify in the coming years and its ramifications for the future of business are impossible to overstate. The time for big data is now. Big data and its related tools are allowing organizations to interpret previously unimaginable amounts and types of data. The most progressive organizations these days are harnessing significant value from big data. In the book, Too Big to Ignore, I profile many types of these organizations. They're currently doing absolutely amazing things with big data. Yes, there is a signal to go along with the noise. Big data is allowing organizations, as I show in the book, to find potential gold in the petabytes of tweets, text, Facebook likes, blog posts, comments, podcasts, videos, and all other different types of unstructured data. In Too Big to Ignore, I talk about the need for organizations to utilize new tools when attempting to harness value from big data. And this is important because traditionally, when most of us think of data, we think of orderly information. We think of Excel spreadsheets or databases. We think of lists of customers or transactions, maybe a list of products. This, what I call small data, is still very important. But big data, for the most part, represents unstructured data. And by that, I mean text-laden, messy, big, uh, video, perhaps, information that you just can't represent particularly well uh, in a Microsoft Excel uh, spreadsheet or in a database. About 80% of the information generated these days is actually of this unstructured variety. So it's very important for us to understand that the old tools uh, like, as I said, Oracle databases or um, SQL statements or Microsoft Excel don't work particularly well with big data. So in Too Big to Ignore, I explain the importance of some of these tools like Hadoop, like NoSQL databases, like NewSQL and some of these other tools. So what are a few examples of big data and how organizations are using it to move the needle? First up, Street Bump is an app based out of the city of Boston that allows citizens to automatically report the location of potholes. This saves a great deal of time and money and lets government be more efficient. Explorus is a company based out of Ohio that allows its clients to marry internal hospital information with external information. So perhaps people are going to emergency rooms because they don't know that there actually is some type of clinic or doctor's office around the corner. That's a communication issue that can be solved with the help of big data. And finally, Quantcast is a company that allow, allows its clients to segment precisely the right populations online. So if you're an advertiser trying to reach a very specific audience, Quantcast allows them to look at different click streams and clicks and figure out how to reach those people. All of these things are only possible through big data. <laughs>